Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and hit the notification button to get content like this in the future. And also, please like and share if you find this content helpful. So, while I was recording, my recording kind of crashed. So, let me just do a run through of what I did in here. So, basically, what I did was to select the hair collection, hair there, and the eye scalp, and then hide the eye darts. And I dropped in a backdrop in here. Okay, then I also dropped in an HGRI. So let's just let me just redo the HGRI. Probably just redo this HGRI in here. So there's actually nothing too fancy. Under this anode, so just drop an HGRI, an AI sky dome light rather. Then also I give this a an anode material so this is an anode material so if i go to the attribute editor drop this back okay let me delete delete by type history on that so it's an ai standard surface also for the entire head head mesh i give this also a new anode material also so that's pretty much it then one other thing i did was to I should just show you guys. I'm using I'm using a studio light setup, an HDRI from the Substance Painter Pack. So if I should go into okay, first of all, let me let me open up that file. Then let me show you guys where to find it. This is, is basically the pack, but I made some editing in here so i kind of created a new sphere in there then centered the color but to actually find the hgri if you go to let me just show you guys where to find it let me show you guys where to find it so program files allegorometric substance painter resources shell allegorometric under environment studio so this studio three so if i should open this up instead of let me drag and drag and drop this here instead of photoshop click ok this is basically how the light setup looks like now just we created a new one or saved out a new file and just added these two colors in here that's pretty that's pretty much it that's pretty much what I did in there. Okay. So now at least I have some <clears throat> I have some major measure of control over this. I could also drop could also duplicate this in here. Drag this somewhere around here. Then put this up all the way up here instead. Make this one quite bigger. Then it will be a normal white color tone. Then I'm just going to save this. Let me start by saving this as a PSD first. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to save this again as an open ESR file. So open ESR. I'll just name this to Studio. Since let me just use your color tints, color tints. Okay, that is fine. This would work. So if you go back in here. Area of the camera setup so front cam. Oh, yeah, one other thing I did also. Let me just show you guys. So, so I just didn't run through of everything. So I have a preset I'm using. So perspective camera, we're rendering for the perspective camera, we're rendering as 1K resolution under anode. I have let me bring my preset in here. Mid render preset under textures. Turn this off, turn this off, put this at zero. 
so I can use more of my RAM to render. I'll close this. And all the HDRI dome lights. Let's plug that into the color channel. Let's open this up. And that desktop backdrop studio color tint 03. Open this up. Okay. That should be fine. Do a quick save. Select this material. So if you notice now the roughness, I increase the roughness. <clears throat> Select this also. I need to increase the roughness for this also. So it's not too reflective. Something like this. <clears throat> then on the if we should zoom out and see the HDRI we have in here. So you can see the setup in here now. This is our setup. This one looks a bit too weird though. Look a bit weird. No worries, we can always go back to Photoshop and then fix that. So probably is a perfectly perfect. Is the perfect sphere in there? Change this to white. Okay, you can save this. Let me save this normally first, then I'll save this as an save it on top. Open. PXR color, save this user and place this. Yeah, whatever. So, we'll go back in here. Think we can reload this. Reload. Not even the. I'm stretching it out a bit more. Anyways, let's. Let's go back. Render cam. Select the HDR again. Let's increase the intensity. Turn. Let's try four in here. Okay. Samples. Put this at three. Okay. Do a quick save. <coughs> Open up the Arnold render view. Let's fire up our render for this. Right of the right of the bat, we have something interesting. Okay. Something quite interesting. Without adding any other additional like this, this is just quite nice. Okay. We can even crank this up a bit more or less. Go a value of seven. That lifts lifts up the entire thing even more. Select the backdrop to make this even darker, like so. To get a pression, a bit more contrast pression for this. Okay, let me stop this. We can save this. Let's rotate the light a bit more. Though this light setup will have lights around the entire area, there will be lights around the entire area. Okay. Let's say we just want this to just lift up, just lifts like an environment, like a feel light for this. So if you go back in, in the, you 
go back in there minimize this i can take this down <clears throat> and put this to like so okay and i'll stop this then let's create a and let's create an area lighting here so i would um, go to another the another tab create an area light somewhere around here very tiny scale this out this out some more there's one trick i saw someone do on instagram by hitting c on the keyboard Nah, it's not even working. It was like by hitting C on the keyboard, you can drag this whatever. It's not even working. Anyways, anyways, let's just get this at an angle. I think do this from this view instead. Get this at this angle like so. Lift it up a bit more. Okay. Let's go to our cam. This area lights sample of three. Let's increase the intensity a bit more to um, four. Let's run this. Let's see. What... Oh, turn on my light. Okay. Something to look. This we can work with. Okay. Right. So, uh, under the light set, I think you have this light, that is light editor in here. I don't need the direction, I think it's that. I don't need it anymore. Just delete that. Okay. Run the IPR again. The area for the dome lights. Let's see. Let's put this to five. Let's go. Okay. Leave this up to now. Okay. Okay. Exposure. Let's exposure how it does for this age. As a bit much, it's back to zero. But I think I'll need to increase this intensity to around value of. But as soon as we add, as soon as we add um, skin texture to this, we need a bit more light, kind of help more on our render. One thing I'd like to do is to exclude the real light from affecting the backdrop. So I'll go to window, relationship, light again, light entry. Select the real say everything that the area light is affecting in here. Every object that the area light is being affected. None of this fabric backdrop. So you can see I kind of exclude that, exclude that. So the only thing that is really like light affecting the backdrop is the AI candle lights, which is which is this is nice. This is nice. I think we can we can continue with this. We can continue with this. I'll stop this. So this will be like our probably our general light setup for this. Maybe no, I'd like to do one more thing. I like to lift up the ambience of the back. So I'll let's add, add another light for the back. And let me save this. So I'll create I would have duplicated this area light, but 
let me name, let me name this to front rec light but I'll duplicate this, this area light bulb I have a weird issue on my Maya 2019 when I duplicate the lights the light begins to act funny so I'm just going to create a new one instead scale that out some more though this is supposed to act this is supposed to act this is supposed to act like our backlight which is I think it, it is actually but it's not very aggressive so I like to rotate this like so put this at the back lift this up rotate it downwards so it's pointing towards it like so okay maybe upward a bit more and rotate it down some more let me name this to back rim lights okay save this then if i go to my light editor i can disable the ai dome light and disable the front rec lights i don't want to see this back lights i want to see the back light only so samples should be at Okay, select the back lights. Let me like some the samples here. Should be at three. Turn off normalize. I think I'll use small temperature in here. So like this. Now put this to six. Intensity to six. Let's run this again. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we are looking at this on not the best camera angle. So let's go front cam. Interesting. Okay. This here. You can see, you can see I kind of add strong shadow around the eye, which is pretty cool. Actually cool. Maybe it's reduce this a bit more. Mm, something like this. Let's go back in here and turn on the let's tap let's tap turning on the sky and boots. Okay. Then let's enable the red lights. So we have the general tone like so. Under the light linking, I would like to remove the fabric back in. I don't want that to be affected. Okay, this is fine. I think we have a good setup now for the light. I think we have a good light setup now. Let's stop this. So in the next lesson, we can go on and begin to add, begin to work, do a little bit more look development for the skin. Then we move on to the eye, and then continue on to the rest of the this extra accessories around it before doing edge and hair. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.